I know some people are excited about the stock line and that little riff that they play, you know. How you can play it. We can, it, we can play it all over. We can mix it. All my viewers and subscribers walk once. I'm coming at you again with another tutorial. And check this out. Now I'm back at talking. Eric Donaldson, Cherry O Baby, grab your guitars. Let's go. Eric Donaldson, Cherry O Baby, alright, a very big hit song, a classic, right, so, um, the track that you hear me, you heard, you know, at the, first, at, at the beginning of this, of the, of the video, I made that, you know, I was not planning to go so far with it, you know, I started, I just wanted to leave the bass, probably the drum pad and the keyboard and that was it just for guidance, but I got a little bit carried away and started doing some other stuff, you know, just a creative mind. <laughs> so um, so yeah, so um, so let's get to this. The song is in the key of B major, right? And for all those who do not know how to farm the B, you want to come all the way up here to the seventh fret, and you want to bar that with the pointer finger. All right. Now you want to place the middle finger on the third string of the eighth fret. Place the pinky finger on the fourth string of the ninth fret, which means the ring finger goes on the fifth string ninth fret right there. For all those who have been following me from day one I mean I'm sure you guys know how to do this all right so remember your number system if you are in if you're in the key of B and B is a one the song is a one five four chord progression a very common one so if you are in the key of B major that means that means the four is going to be your E major right so you stay right there at the ninth fret you want to bar that still and place that ring finger on the second third and fourth string of the Eight, then ah, oh, the ninth fret. My bad. Here we go. All right. So now we got the one, and we got the four. Right. So um, if the if E major is the four, then of course then F sharp major is going to be the five. Right. Am I right? Or am I wrong? Am I right? Or am I right? <laughs> right. So um, yeah, man. So one, four, five. All right. Now I want you guys to pay attention to the strumming pattern of this song. All right, because it changes up. All right, and the timing changes also. If you listen to the song, you will realize that the bass, the drum, the snare, the everybody is playing. It is on the same timing. You know, so it's a kind of a song that's a bit all over the place. But again, it's a hit. It's a classic. All right, so you know. Listen to the song before starting to learn this one. It's not like you're just going to come here and learn this and then go back to the song. It's, it, it will seem a bit strange. All right. So, all right. So, for the verse, when you strum in the verse, the oh, cherry, oh, cherry, oh, baby. Da, 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 da. All right. So, pay attention to that again. People. For one, oh, cherry, oh, cherry, oh, baby. Da 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 Alright, so let me do it slow Oh cherry, oh cherry, oh baby Da 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 One more time Four, no One, one Four, one One, one Five, one Again, one, one Four one, 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 five, one, and that's it. Now you can choose if you want to play.
All right? Or you can play the regular. Because you have many different versions to this song out there, all right? You even have um, UB40 do a version to it, which I really don't like, but um, yeah, it's all right. But um, so yeah. So now that's the strumming part, that is the strumming, the timing and everything for the verse. All right? Now remember when you're strumming reggae, you want to squeeze and release almost instantly. Both hands should be in sync, you know what I mean? All right? So you want to squeeze and release the pressure. Relax the fingers after. Squeeze, relax. Squeeze, relax. Almost instantly. All right? So it's going to be like... That's how you get that staccato feel. Now, for the pago... Oh, 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 da, 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 da. It's a bit different. So pay attention to that part. All right? You go... Oh, 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 oh. All right? So... Again, slower. Oh, 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 oh. So one, two, four, one, five, one, 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 four, one, five, one. Da 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 da. All right. So that is. The strumming part of that part. Then back to the regular. My, my bad. Alright. Of course, I can add your little. You can add your little slides and all those stuff, those stuff if you want to. All right, if you want to learn those, I mean, you can you can link me up, you know, for some one-on-one -on -one lessons. Of course, my information is all over the place, so you can get that. All right. Here's an example of the strumming pattern, you know, from the verse, from the starting to the verse, going into that weird changing. All right. So, so listen to this. Some people are excited about the stock line and that little riff that they play, you know. Or you can play it. We can, it's, we can play it all over. You can mix them, which is good, which is what I do. Now remember, this song is a one take. It's a vintage. It's a song. It's a very old song. Right? So, um, it has no set structure. So, the recording was just one take. So, whatever the, um, the guitar is played, it just stay there. Alright? So... Again, does not have a set structure. All right, but once you remain my bad, in that B major scale, you will be okay. All right, so check this out. It goes like this. So sometimes it double up, you know, it double it up. But remember again, there's no set structure. I think the guitarist was really feeling it and he was just doing his stuff. All right, so. All right, again, once you remain, and you remain in that B major scale, you will not go wrong. You listen to the bass, listen to what the bass is playing. Now remember, again, where that weird change makes that, that with the card, that also changes. All right, so here we go. All right. My bad. All right, so let me play the first part slow and give you an example of what you could play. All right, so here we go. Again. All right. 
so just play around with that and then you're gonna add your little stuff to it all right for a weird change <laughs> And you should be good with that when it comes to the stock line. All right, but again, listen to the bass line. A stock line is a guitar line that accompanies the bass line. All right, listen to that and you will not go wrong. And once you stay within the scale, you will be all right. Here is an example of what it will sound like. All right, check this out. Okay, so of course, again, everybody is excited about this next part, the that, that riff. All right, so I'm not gonna call all the notes as usual. I'm going to play it slow on you guys. So, all right, so we go R. Okay, so you, let me play it slow for you guys. A little slower. And for it in the higher register. Not my bad. example This is just a one strike. You can. You can add your little slide. Song, Eric Donaldson, Cherry O Baby. Now, guys, remember subscribe to the channel. Remember to hit the thumbs up button. Remember when you hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. Hit all so whenever I post a new video, whatever I post, you will be notified. You will be the first to know. All right. Blessed love, peace out. My name is Zion. See you next time.